It's a game that looks to push the ball. They turn it over, and that was a real problem for Utah last night. They had 20 turnovers, including nine by Carlos Boozer, and a six-point loss on the road against the Spurs. Josh Howard gets a... Parker, he'll try to do the same thing tonight against Devin Harris. Nice play by Devin to take the charge. York against Boozer. Dan Pierce got it, makes a pass to Terry, cutting baseline. Then out to Howard. And the first two shots have scored eight straight, and Kirilenko badly missing a three-pointer. And that's not his game. He's only made two threes all year. Howard, baseline, got it to go. Charge. And so Williams on the bench with two fouls. And again, Jason Hart, the seven-year veteran out of Syracuse, is into the game. And Utah just committed their fifth turnover on the bad pass by Mimitel Court. Howard against a great defender in Kirilenko. Wants to pick and roll with Dampier. Aggressively to the hoop. Draws a foul with 6.43. Through and everything that they've done for this country to come up here and just be treated well, enjoy the game, and watch the Mavericks come through with a win. Brewer miss. Well, the Mavs are 2-1 and one on seats for Soldiers Knights. They've got to bounce back from a loss to Detroit last year. First two years were wins over Atlanta and Orlando. So, yeah, they need to get back in the win column tonight. Howard on the drive and draws the foul. David Lee, Carlos Boozer, Howell Gasol, Chris Kamen. As Stackhouse misses a three, that's the collection of big men who are so good. And now Miles has it knocked away. The Jazz turn it over again. On the break, Josh Howard slams it home. Mavericks led by five of the start of the quarter and got the lead up to as many as nine. Harris. Squeeze through two defenders. Long pass to Howard, and a three is good. Well, a good find. 15 points as they're in front by five. Yeah, they're doing a nice job, really running their offense crisply. They're getting some good looks. Now shooting over 48%. As Harris feeds Howard, he looks for his three again and got it. That's 20 in a As Kirilenko's averaging six assists a game. He can do just about everything. He's always up there in steals, block shots, assists for his team. He's averaging over 10 points, over six boards, six assists as Howard drives and gets fouled. A wide open look. Dallas' lead is back to nine. Here's O'Cour giving to Boozer. And that shot is off. The foul is missed as well. Then tipped out long to Ronnie Brewer. The free throw. And Utah's foul shooting woes continue. They're now seven out of 14. Brewer did get credit for the bucket, though, so Utah draws to within eight. Brewers in his second year out of Arkansas. He started every game this year for the Jazz. Howard matched up against Kirilenko. Shot clock at four. A dribble. And the shot is good. That little 3-2 zone defense. Nice pass by O'Cor along the baseline. Again, a switch. Howard quickly against Williams. Kirilenko comes in at 13-7 and seven this year. Remember that they're 5-6 and six on the road and have already lost two. With this three-game road trip concluding tonight, they lost in San Antonio last night and by 10 at Sacramento on Tuesday. Howard has a chance to dribble to the bucket for the slam and an and one. New England tomorrow? I'll bet New England. Wow. Three-point play for Williams. He obviously, being from the Colony High School, had to fulfill a lot of ticket requests tonight, by the way. He said he stopped answering his phone when he had 20 requests. Three to shoot, fading in the corner. Howard got another oh. one. What a night. <laughs> he was in the weight room doing a stretch and doing a lot of different things to really strengthen that shoulder. Darren Williams scores for Utah. Harris zigzags through the Utah defense. Long pass to Stackhouse. Harris has it back. He got clocked in the face on that drive. And then out of the corner, Stackhouse in a point game. Little in and out play that time. They tried to post up Harpering in inside. Dallas had to come with the double team. The Mavericks have lost six of their last nine games. And then the team will go on the floor and somebody will make the mistake they just talked about ten seconds after being out on the floor. Yeah, and especially on the defensive end. That's what really, I think, upsets A.J. more than anything. And a basket just made by Kirilenko after Millsap's offensive rebound. Back to a six-point game. Terry on the drive. He finds Josh Howard, and he hits oh, yeah. again. What a night. Howard runs it down for Dallas. Howard posting up on Williams. Goes to Devin Harris. Oh, hey, hey. Howard has it. On the move to the bucket. And 
battle with Howard and Harpering. We, we may not have heard the last of it. No, because both of those guys are, are fierce competitors. Millsap, another offensive rebound after Karolinko missed. Then Millsap got it blocked by Howard. Utah got it back. Three, Darren Williams. And every time down five, 102 Dallas. Two teams on two game losing streaks. Trying to snap them tonight. Let's see who gives here in the fourth quarter. Howard again goes to work on Millsap. This time got the call. Snaps for 35. Yeah, he's had a pretty nice game as well, and he's coming off some big games. We talked about it at the top of the show. He's averaging 26 and a half over his last five games. At 28 against the Spurs last night. Three point game again. Howard to the basket. Foul. A little bit, and, and uh, the argument back was that momentum is what carried Dirk down and out of bounds there. It's either that or they went straight up. Those are the two favorite answers. Deflection, Josh Howard and he'll slam it. Gets that open look and can't knock it down. Once Williams gave it up in the front court, he never got it back. Now it's Terry against C.J. Miles. Pull it pass to Howard, and Howard is fouled with two. He doesn't have much range, but very strong, good finisher. Harris has got it. The Terry down to a minute 40 remaining. Two possession lead for Dallas as Harris leans over the dribble and goes to Howard. Howard with three to shoot. Stepping back over Harper and yeah.